Hi, I'm Liam and I'm a theme developer evangelist here at Shopify. In this video, we'll be looking at how to set up a local theme development environment that allows you to edit theme files on your local computer and preview changes using the Shopify CLI. We'll also look at how you can push local changes from your computer up to a live store. So let's dive in. We're going to need three things to be able to set up our theme development environment. The first is the Shopify CLI installed on our machine. The second is a Shopify store that we can connect to, to pull data and to push changes. And third, we will need a actual theme that we're going to be able to customize, make changes to, and push those changes to the live instance of that theme. So first things first, uh, let's install the Shopify CLI. So I'm using uh, Homebrew to install uh, the CLI onto my Mac. Um, we will also include instructions for other operating systems on how to install uh, the CLI onto your computer. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, tap the Shopify keg uh, so that we can access uh, Shopify's uh, tools within Homebrew. Uh, once that has updated and Homebrew is updated, uh, it's letting me know uh, what I can update. Um, I'm now going to run brew install Shopify CLI. Uh, and this is going to download the CLI and install it onto my machine. So once this command has finished, uh, we can run the Shopify version command. Uh, which will output which version we're using, which verifies that it's working. Um, you can also run uh, Shopify help uh, to see all of the different commands which are possible with the CLI. Uh, we're mostly going to be uh, using the theme suite of commands uh, as we'll be working with Shopify themes uh, in this instance. Next, we're going to connect the Shopify CLI to a live Shopify store. So I'm going to be using my uh, test environment. I have a development store. Uh, if you don't have a development store, do create a Shopify partners account and you can create as many of these development sandbox stores as you like. Uh, in my case, I'm using my uh, testing 2021 Liam uh, store. Uh, where I have some themes installed here. I have uh, Liam's test theme. Um, I also have um, demo products, uh, which are um, on my store just for um, testing purposes. We also have some other um, store data in the forms of blog posts. Uh, so we'll be able to test that out as well. So what we'll need to connect to our live store is the the url and we'll be using the shopify login command um, when we run this command it will authenticate me i'll it'll i'll be asked to log into my store and i will um, connect to this with the cli uh, in that way so when i run my command with the uh, store flag with my url and when i run this command uh, a window will, will open up asking me to log in, enter my password. Uh, I'll get a message here that says authenticated successfully once I've authenticated. And then we will see here that the terminal window has uh, updated to let me know um, that I have logged into my store. It also tells me which partner organization that I'm in. Uh, if you ever want to just quickly see uh, which store you're logged into, you can run Shopify, who am I? And it will output the exact same thing uh, that we saw when we authenticated first, uh, which is the store and also the partner organization that I'm associated with. So this is great. We can now uh, connect to the store and we're going to download our theme next. So with the Shopify CLI, there are two main methods for accessing a theme. We can run Shopify theme init, which will start a new project by pulling 
a version of Dawn from the public GitHub repo and install that and download it onto your machine. Or we can run Shopify theme pull, which will access any themes which are installed on the connected store. So this is the approach we're going to take. I have an empty uh, folder here, theme dev demo, uh, which I'm going to uh, open in terminal and I'm going to run uh, that Shopify theme pull command. So when I run this, um, it's going to ask me which uh, theme I want to pull from. Uh, so I have three themes installed here. It also tells me which is the live theme. I'm going to be uh, pulling the unpublished uh, Liam's test theme. And now uh, when I select this, it's going to uh, take the files from my local, uh, from my live store and install them onto my uh, local computer. So once the theme process has finished, we get a notification letting us know the theme has been pulled successfully. And if we open up our directory, uh, we can see here uh, all of the theme folders that we would expect to see in a theme. And we can also open this in a text editor. I'm using VS Code, but any will, will work just as fine. And we can see here that our uh, theme files uh, are appearing as we would expect. Uh, so next step is actually creating that local dev environment where we can preview changes. Next, we're going to generate what we call a development theme. A development theme is a hidden theme running on your local computer, which is connected to the live Shopify store that you can use for your de development workflow. We use development themes to preview changes in live time so that you can make customizations with the downloaded theme files and see them live on your local environment. So we're going to generate the development theme by running the Shopify theme serve command in terminal. And once we run this command, we will see that the theme is syncing with our connected store. Once the Shopify theme serve command is finished, we'll see that we have created a URL. This is what we will use to view that development theme. Um, and we can also access uh, a version of the online store editor for this development theme. And you can even share a preview link. Um, and this uh, server will continue running until we uh, either close terminal or press com control and C to stop uh, the development store, the development theme from running. So if we go to a browser and we enter the URL that we're given, uh, we may need to enter in our password. We can return to our live store if we're asked for the password, uh, where we will find in preferences, the password for our store. Once we've that entered, now we can see that we have our development store uh, available uh, and we can see that it's now connected to our uh, live store. We can see all of the different products that are appearing here, which are connected to our store. Uh, we can also see that it's taken our uh, blog posts uh, so we have access to all of the information uh, that was available on our live store, but now it's in a local setting. Uh, the benefit of this is now we can go back to our theme files. Uh, we can make a minor change. Uh, so I might just add a below the header, I'm going to test out uh, that this is working correctly by using the templates uh, liquid object. So what this object does is that it will output the name of the template file that's being used to output a page. Uh, so we'll be very easily to see that you know, this change is uh, populating ac across uh, when we save. So once we save 
the change in the file, and we go back to our development theme, we can see here that change is already populated across. We're seeing index as the index.json is the template file that's being used to render here. If we go to blog, we can see blog is being rendered. And the same with our products as well. We can see um, product is appearing here. So this is working as expected. Um, our development theme is, is running. We're able to make changes uh, on our store uh, with the CLI running the development theme. So you can continue customizing uh, your theme for your client. Uh, you can make any changes, you can create new functionality and test them all out in a local environment. Once you're ready to push your changes to the live store, uh, you can run Shopify theme push, which will take your changes and as it sounds, will push them up to a new, to your store. So I'm going to open a new tab in our terminal and I'm simply going to run Shopify theme push. And now it will ask me which theme I want to push to. So I'm going to select the same one uh, that I pulled from, which is Liam's test theme. And when I run this command, it's taking those changes and then pushing them up to my live store. So once this command is run, I get a successful message and I can confirm that this is working correctly by returning to my, my live store uh, that is online. And I can go into Liam's test theme. Um, I'll click on customize and I can see the change that I made uh, to output the template name is, is now appearing. So that's great. So now we've used the Shopify CLI to download themes from a store, generate a development theme that we can preview local changes on and push those changes back up to our live Shopify store. You can check out the Shopify CLI repository on GitHub to learn more and to troubleshoot any common problems. For more information on Shopify theme development, make sure to subscribe to this channel and review the documentation on shopify.dev forward slash themes. You can also join the Shopify devs discord server and meet fellow developers and ask questions. Thanks for your attention. Bye for now.